Your priceless home movies and old photos can be destroyed by time, heat, and moisture. Transfer your home movies to DVD and enjoy them again and again. Visit HoverVideoProductions.com or call 770-715-6444. Hi everyone and welcome back to iScience. Today's experiments are Dr. White's mental magic. Really? Oh. Our uh, special guest today is Wanda Bonner who is a teacher here at Brooks Elementary School. Today's experiments are DIY as long as you have some parental supervision. Wanda, for our, our first uh, trick, I'm going to crush that can using the powers of my mind. Really? Yes. Tell me what's going on with the can right now. We have water boiling in the can, produce a lot of steam and the air pressure, all the air has escaped on the outside. And I'm going to immerse it in water. It's going to crush because of the powers of my mind. You think so? Yes. And I think we should do it. Let's try it. Let's, let's do it. Okay. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. One, two, two three, three, go. Oh, Whoa! Pick it back up and show everybody the powers of my mind. The powers of my mind. The powers of your mind is the vacuum inside and the air and the outside, the atmospheric pressure. So you're telling me that that was not the powers of it's my mind? It's not your power of your mind. No, it so, wasn't. So you're telling me that it's the atmospheric pressure out here that actually crushed that can? Exactly. You're saying that there was a vacuum inside of there because the steam cooled off when we put it in the water. Exactly. Which condensed. Condensed. Creating a, a little vacuum because no going. air could yeah. get up in there. Exactly. And then the atmospheric pressure out here said crush the can. Crush the can. And so it wasn't, my, it wasn't my mind. It wasn't your mind. It was science. I'm going to prove to you that I have a powerful mind. Okay. So what I have here is I have a water balloon and I have a vase. You could do this with any container that has an open mouth. As you can see, I can't push the water balloon down into the vase because okay. it's too big. Because I'm going to use the powers of my mind. The powers of your mind. Powers of my mind. And I'm going to push the balloon down in there okay. with the powers of my mind. So here we go. So um, just pay no attention to the fact that I'm going to set this piece of paper on fire and set it down in there. All right, so here we go. All right, so no attention. Here we go. Three, two, one. Powers of my mind. Oh, wow. Look at that. Whoa. Oh, yeah. oh your powers of your mind Woo! again, huh? That was rough. I, I've, I'm drained. No. I'm drained. The powers of my mind. No, same thing. Created a vacuum inside from the heat and the atmosphere pressure escaped and the balloon was able to go down into the jar. So it wasn't the powers of my mind. It was not the power of your mind. So again, we have the hot flame that's down in there and you'll notice that the balloon jumped up it and did. down. Mm -hmm. That is the heat rising and pushing the, taking the air out with it. Yeah. Then the balloon falls back down and seals it back up so that the air can't get back in, which creates a little vacuum. That means there's low pressure on the inside, higher pressure on the outside. So we have unbalanced forces. So that means that there's acceleration in the direction of the unbalanced force, the, the weaker force, which is on the inside. So then the balloon got pushed. Exactly. Now some people will say it got sucked into the vase. No. No. It actually got pushed into the vase by the atmospheric the pressure, pressure out of here. Correct. This is the same process by which uh, a straw works. You create a low pressure inside mm -hmm. the straw, a higher pressure outside the straw, which pushes the liquid up to your mouth. Mm -hmm. All right, Ms. Bonner, so you caught me. I don't really have telekinetic powers, but I do have science knowledge. Science power? Science power. So I use my science power to push the balloon into the vase. Okay. Well, that wraps it up for today's iScience. Stay tuned for more interactive science on CowitaTV.com. The I in iScience stands for interactive. We produce the show with you in mind. So if you have any questions or demonstrations that you'd like to see, please send me an email and I'll get them on the air for you.